What was that? Shut up and put some of that sugar in my bowl. <laughs> Who has to shoot him? Right, wait a second. All right, then I get to shoot Joe. All right, he shot me. I mean, if we're doing things fair here, get... All right, we're good. Yeah, I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you that we're all friends again? Quagmire, Family Guy's sex-obsessed neighbor, is a walking punchline. But beneath the giggity lies a dark side. So today we are bringing you the list of top seven worst things Quagmire has done. Number seven, keeping sex slaves. In the Season 5 episode Airport 07, Peter accidentally backs his pickup truck into Quagmire's car. Consequentially, Quagmire's trunk pops open, revealing four loosely dressed Japanese women. Hell am I supposed to get to the airport? I gotta fly a plane in 20 minutes! Oh, I can drive you. I got a pickup truck, see? Well, come on! As if that wasn't odd enough, Peter then crashes into his garage, releasing nearly a dozen more women. Wait, don't worry about it. We can go after them. Don't worry about it. They're tagged. They're tagged. Just get me to the airport. The situation pretty much speaks for itself in this scene. Quagmire is abhorrently enslaving young foreign women for sex. Number six, sleeping with Loretta. Boy! Peter Griffin, temporarily suspended CPR. Holy crap! We should go. Boy, that was embarrassing, huh? Walking in on Loretta in Cleveland having sex? Uh, Peter, that wasn't, uh... You know, for a large, heavyset black guy, Cleveland's got a cute little white ass. That wasn't Cleveland, it was some white guy. For all of Quagmire's sexual antics, we'd like to think that he'd at least draw the line when it comes to his friend's wives. Sadly, such is not the case as he has an affair with Cleveland's wife, Loretta. What a day! We've done everything in the world! So I guess the only thing left to do is tell you that Loretta Brown is having an affair. Good lord! No, no, no! Oh god, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. Cleveland soon finds out about the pair and divorces Loretta. He and Quagmire make amends by the episode's conclusion, but it is certainly bumpy road. The sanctity of my marriage. <laughs> Number five, killing his sister's boyfriend. You are? Hey, give me some money. I saw a cool bandana. What the hell's going on here? Listen here, you bully. For your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did. Brenda, you tell him? No, not yet. After recovering from an asphyxiation injury, it's exactly what you think. Quagmire gets closer with his sister Brenda and her boyfriend Jeff. It quickly becomes clear that Jeff is abusive. Guys, what the hell am I gonna do? She can't marry that bastard. He's just gonna keep beating her, and then he's gonna beat the kid, too. God, I wish she'd never met Jeffrey Fiekelman. To that end, Quagmire and the guys invite Jeff on a nighttime hunting trip and plan to kill him. When he comes back, I'm just gonna do it, okay? I'm just gonna point my gun straight at his head before he even knows what's going on. Although Jeff manages to briefly outmaneuver them and attempts to choke Quagmire to death. Unless you want your friend's brains all over the place. Listen, Jeff, just put the gun down and we'll forget this whole thing, okay? Quagmire's tolerance for choking allows him to slip away and run Jeff down with a car. Later, Brenda is distraught when told that Jeff left her. Oh, oh, Glenn, there you are. Jeff didn't come home last night and he hasn't called. Uh, well, actually, about that, Brenda, he must have left early this morning. Now, we're not saying that Jeff wasn't a garbage excuse of a human being, but Quagmire still commits murder. Number four, beating up Brian. Quagmire and Brian's feud has occasionally turned physical, and arguably the worst one of these occurs shortly after Ida's transitioning. Worried sick. Where have you been? Listen, I, I feel awful about the things I said last night. I was selfish. Oh, you weren't selfish. After coming back into town, Brian unknowingly sleeps with Ida. Although Brian's own reaction to finding out who he was with is pretty bad, Quagmire's is worse. What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh, why? I didn't know! I didn't know it was her! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! When he finds out, Quagmire barges into the Griffin home and ruthlessly beats Brian throughout the house. It's easily assault and animal abuse, and while Quagmire may not face any justice for his actions, at least Brian's parting words seem to cut deep. Hey. I fucked your dad. Number three, shooting Peter in the head. During a hunting trip, Peter accidentally shoots Quagmire in the arm. Oh, Peter, you son of a bitch, you shot me! No, the dumbest thing I ever did was open that can of whoop-ass. Oh. 
Fed up with Peter's stupidity, Quagmire savors ties and forces Joe to choose sides in their friendship. Here, Joe, Joe, come sit with me. Come on, you guys. Joe, I got a deck of cards you can put in your wheels to look cool. Joe, I'll do the wavy stomach for you. Joe! 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 Eventually, Peter decides that the only way for them to mend their relationship is for Quagmire to shoot him in the arm, which Quagmire is all too eager to do. When Peter balks, Joe does it instead. And while Peter argues he should shoot Joe now, Quagmire shoots Peter in the head. Shooting Peter would be bad enough, but it also drops his cognitive abilities far below where they were. What's up with your friends? Have I told you that we're all friends again? Yes. Number two, faking his own death to get out of marriage. After Quagmire gets married to a maid named Joan, he seemingly changes his entire personality. I've decided I want to spend my life with you. Will you marry me? <gasps> oh, of course I will. Nothing would make me happier than to be Mrs. Quagmire. However, after the oldham resurfaces, he quickly comes to regret married life. Oh God, I gotta get out of this marriage. Cleveland, how did you get out of yours? You slept with my wife. It's easy, Quagmire. Just tell her to hit the bricks. When he floats the idea of a divorce to Joan, she reacts with threats of violence. Rather than pursue things the legal way, Peter suggests an alternative faking his own death. What do you mean? I mean we're gonna fake your death. This is the best idea I've had since I invented that soda. Granted, Joan isn't exactly stable, and Quagmire's first video attempt at fooling her is admittedly hilarious. Faking your death to get away from someone isn't the best way to deal with an admittedly crazed partner. I'm just gonna watch her die on her own. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> ah, it's good to have you back, Quagmire. It's good to be back, Peter. Hey, uh, Death, can you leave that body here for another five minutes? <laughs> Number one, arson insurance fraud. The pharmacy's going under. I can barely pay my bills. I can't even afford the real pharmacy music. That's just me up there. Listen. If this is it, ooh, ah, please let me know. After Quagmire and Peter decide to help Mort drum up business for his pharmacy, things quickly go wrong. Quagmire, look out! Oh, no! Quagmire's horniness distracts him, losing the pharmacy's banner, which causes a bus accident, killing everyone on board. Goldman's Pharmacy. As if mass manslaughter weren't enough, the duo decides to help Mort recoup his losses by burning the pharmacy down so he can collect on the insurance. My God, we did it! If not for Joe's intervention, all three of them likely would have gone down for the arson and fraud charges. Still not sure how they got away with the bus, though. Deleted. Was that... was that supposed to mean something? Yeah, I'm letting you guys go. Oh. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, I didn't get that either. Yeah, why didn't you just say that? I'm starting to regret erasing that message. Too late, buttface! Have a great summer, Joe! Unfortunately, this isn't the first or last time Quagmire's libido leads to many deaths. Always a pleasure for having you guys around. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more Family Guy content.